So the next slide that we have, the next whiteboard is about Tonkat Ali, as I promised. So Tonkat Ali is the main herb. It's the main ingredient inside Afro D. And <laughs> I wrote you here. Uh, the first thing to note is that it's very bitter. It's extremely bitter. And because we don't add any preservatives or any added sugar or any fillers or anything that is going to contaminate the purity of Afro D, uh, it doesn't taste amazing. However, a lot of us raw dog Afro D, right? I, I showed you Afro D uh, earlier, and I'm sure you've seen us raw dog, you know, taking it straight into the mouth with a spoon. And the dirty 30 challenge that's going on right now, where we, you know, take Afro D for 30 days and, and no porn, no weed, um, no alcohol, no drugs for 30 days. About 25 of the guys in the Afro D Academy out of the 140 or so that we have now, just straight up raw dog uh, Afro D. And now we're used to the taste. I mean, I, I'm used to the taste. I, I've been taking, I've been raw, do raw dogging for three months, taking Afro D for 15 months. But uh, I mean, now it's become easy. But yeah, the first time you taste Afro D, it's going to be very, very nasty. Just warning you, uh, especially if you're raw dog at the beginning. So that's the first thing to note. Now, what is this 100 to 1? So a lot of the questions that we get about concentration of our Tonkat Ali is when people say, well, I found this other company that's giving me 200 to 1. So let me explain to you what that means. When you see a hundred colon one, it basically means they take a hundred pounds, for example, a certain amount of weight, let's call it pounds, a hundred pounds of whatever they're using, be it the root, the stems, the leaves, or in some cases, it's not for Tonkat Ali, but other cases, it might be the flowers or certain other aspects of the tree or the plant. And a hundred pounds of that will be used to make one pound of the actual stuff that will go into the supplement itself, into the, the, the product itself, the herb that we make. So in this case, a hundred pounds of the root of Tonkat Ali we take to make one pound of the Tonkat Ali extract that is used to make Afro D. That is very, very powerful. It's the most powerful, highest quality herb of Tonkat Ali in the world. I challenge you to find a better one. Now, the guys who tell you that they have 200 to 1, they're lying. Now, why is that? The way they are measuring the way they are manufacturing, the way they are extracting the herb is not with high quality as we're doing it. Now, how can I prove it? Well, whenever you see someone do a 200 to 1 extract, ask them first, is, there, is it contaminated with fungus and toxins? A lot of them are. That's the first thing you want to ask. The other thing is, are they using the root? We're using the root, which is the most powerful part of this. So basically, the Tonkat Ali we get is from Malaysia. We, it, we import it from Malaysia. And it is a small jungle tree. It's about 30 feet tall right, in Malaysia. And you can get Tonkat Ali from Indonesia as well. You can get it from Malaysia. You can get it from Thailand. But Malaysia, for us, the, the tree we use in Malaysia, from our research, is the most powerful one. And it's the one that gives us the be best quality available in the world. So that's why you, we use it. Some companies use trees that are available in Indonesia and they claim that that's more powerful. Well, it's hard to prove this, but we are very adamant in our quality because we do all the different testing. So for example, what are the tests that we do for Tonkat Ali? One of them is known as the verification test. After the powder is made after everything is done we take the powder and we verify it we compare it in a test in the lab with uricoma longifolia which is the scientific name for tonkat ali 
we make sure that the product after it's manufactured and packaged is the same as what the root was, what we started with. So that's one test we do. Another test we do is a PDE5 inhibitor test. So PDE5 inhibitors, as I mentioned earlier in this video, are what sometimes other companies slip in to give you a product that is not uh, side effect free because as we know Cialis, Levitra, Viagra, these have a lot of side effects and they're not natural. They're made in a lab. So they slip that in. So we do a PDE5 inhibitor test to make sure that the final product does not have any trace of PDE5 inhibitors, for example, sildenafil, which is in Viagra. Um, another thing we do is we do a uricomanone test. Uricomanone is the very potent component inside of Tonkatali. And we find that usually it's about 1%, which is very, very high. It's very potent. And that's what we want. So I challenge you to, if you find something on Amazon or you find something that some other company is giving you Tonkatali, I challenge you to find if they are doing the test that we're doing and we're verifying how pure and high quality our Tonkatali is. All right, so I challenge you guys. So that's the other one. Now, we also do a microbiology test where we test for E. coli, salmonella, yeast, and mold because we want to make sure there's no toxins that are in the final product. Because a lot of companies, they'll give you something that's contaminated with fungus and toxins. So we do all of these tests at the end when the product is made before it's shipped to our clients. All right? So that's uh, a little bit of uh, a background. Now, Tonkatali is an adaptogen. There's about six or seven adaptogens that are available in traditional Chinese medicine. An adaptogen is something, first of all, it reduces cortisol usually. An adaptogen by tradition is something that has been used to reduce stress. It's been, and, and why does it do that? It's, the reason it's called adaptogen is because it adapts to your current hormonal profile. That's the magic because if you, if you do something in a lab, you produce some drug, it is not something that has evolved over billions of years. It's not a plant. But if you look at something like a tree or a plant or for example, schizandra berry, which I'm gonna cover in the next, next uh, whiteboard, these have, been, have evolved, it's been tinkering going on in the universe over time. So because of that, you can be sure that when you take it, because that's earth and your body is, has also evolved over time, that adaptogen has the ability to look at your current hormonal profile and adjust to your body's physiology. That's what an adaptogen is. And that is why sometimes, this doesn't happen with Afro D because Afro D starts working right away. But some very optimal results of certain adaptogens happen after, let's say, 10 weeks. Um, there's been studies that showed that, for example, pearl powder, which I'm going to get into on the fourth whiteboard, uh, it took, took in one of the studies about 10 weeks for the full effects to happen. So sometimes it could take several weeks or 10 weeks or you know, more than that for the full adaptogenic effects to optimize in your body. So that's what an adaptogen is. It, it optimizes your hormonal profile no matter what it is. It adapts to it. All right. Now, there have been. So why do I stress Tonkatali so much? Why am I? Why is it so sexy? Why am I in love with Tonkatali and not with Tribulus or Horny Goatweed or Maca or Ashwagandha or all those guys? Well, because there's been seven human clinical trials done on Tonkatali to show all the benefits. Okay. Human clinical trials, human. All right. And they are placebo controlled. They're not just some goofy experiments. They're randomized. And, um, uh, which one is what's M. So they're placebo controlled. They're randomized. And I think, let me see what M stands for. Let me look at my notes real quick. Um, they are, oh, male, they're done in male. So, they, so the, the subjects that they used were men, 
because some, you know, some studies, they, they use PCOS females and uh, people with disease or people who are infertile. There's all these weird studies. But the seven clinical trials that I'm talking about are done on normal subjects, men that have the ages that are normal ages of the people inside the Aphrodite Academy. You know, anywhere from 18 years old to 50, 45, 50, 60 years old, depending on the study that you look at. So it's done in men. Now, what are the benefits of Tonkatali that they found in these clinical trials? I found in myself, we found in members of the Afro-D Academy and, and everyone else who's used Afro-D and everyone else who's used Tonkatali who doesn't use Afro-D. First and foremost, libido and free testosterone significantly increase. Study after study after study shows this. Now, testosterone's benefit, the main benefit of testosterone is libido. It's sexual arousal. Another benefit is morning wood. Another one is energy, drive, and obviously physical, weightlifting benefits, for example, muscle growth and so on and so forth that testosterone brings you. So this is it. And it's not just that. It's also confidence, assertiveness having the ability to express yourself fully and say what you want at the right time and, and not be, you know, not hide out. So that's what testosterone will give you. So obviously it's you know, free testosterone, bound testosterone, total testosterone increases with Tonkatali and libido is the main factor and morning wood is another one and so on. Penile hard, oh, let me, let me explain this, uh, what this means. So the number of attempts to have sex with your partner increases as well. That's what they found. And one study showed that Tonkatali works better than testosterone replacement therapy, which is unbelievable because TRT is obviously super expensive. It is something that you, know, you inject exogenous testosterone in your body. There's a bunch of side effects and it should work better than anything else. Right? Because you're injecting you know, 10 times the testosterone that your body can produce. But Tonkat Ali, I mean, not 10 times the amount, but a significantly higher amount than your body can produce. And then your body may stop natural production of testosterone, especially if you don't do it correctly. Now, you can go on cycles and stuff with TRT. That's, uh, I've already made videos about that. If, if you're on TRT, then... I mean, this video is not for you anyway. I mean, you, you need to get off of TRT. We're all about doing natural testosterone production. But Tonkat Ali can work even better than TRT, this one of the studies found. Penile hardness. There's a penile hardness score that they make this, the males of these, these sexual couples take, and the penile hardness score also increases after Tonkat Ali. And finally, fertility increases. So if you saw my video in the testosterone transformation Facebook group. So every week I'm making three videos now. One video is the one-on-one -on -one that I shoot with an Aphrodite Academy member that goes on the testosterone transformation Facebook group on Tuesday. Then I shoot one on Thursday, which is a general video. The last one was about weed, about marijuana and how it affects testosterone. That also goes on the testosterone transformation Facebook group private, and you can get on that. It's free. To, to, to sign on and all the information is in the comment below in the description below so read that and the third video is today this one Fridays uh, which is the general video for YouTube and Facebook and so on so if you're not on the Facebook group you won't get the other two videos the last video I made about marijuana and testosterone I explained to you very clearly the adverse effects of marijuana on sperm parameters. So motility, morphology, sperm volume, sperm concentration, total sperm count, um, and, 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 and the acrosomal reaction that happens when the sperm hits the egg, uh, the ovum. And, and all of those parameters actually become better with Tonkat Ali. So what we does to, to sperm count, especially shown in most studies, not all studies, and watch that video for all those details, but Tonkat Ali has been shown to significantly improve your fertility, your virility, the ability for you to have children, 
Okay, so that's there. They actually even find sometimes that spontaneous pregnancies happen when these, uh, these studies are being done. So, for example, I remember one paper I read, 15% of the couples of, of, this, of this bunch of men who were taking talk at a leaf, 15% of those men impregnated their women during the actual scientific study. It was just amazing. It's beautiful. Now, the mechanism behind all of this, it's been proposed, it's a hypothesis that Tonkin Ali facilitates the unbinding of testosterone from SHBG. So for those of you who have high SHBG, you need to add Afro-D to your stack of lowering SHBG levels. Because one thing that I've seen in the Afro-D Academy members as well as other clients is that if you have very high SHBG, then your free testosterone will be low. Your bioavailable testosterone will be low. So one thing is, is not so easy to do is lower your SHBG levels while keeping your testosterone levels the same or even higher. And Tonkin Ali seems to do that. So that's super awesome. And there's been studies that, that show this and, and, and that's why the hypothesis is there. So that is what I want to tell you about Tonkin Ali. In the next whiteboard, in the next uh, you know, slide, I'm going to discuss Cassandra Berry, so stay tuned.